to Source Fed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. Listen, right now we are on an exclusive, amazing adventure, a journey. We're at the Paramount lot in Hollywood where we got a super sneak peek at the amazing new movie, World War Z. Oh, well, we can't tell you a thing about it. We're not allowed to. No, no we can't tell you. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was really good. Don't tell your friends we told you it was awesome. It was really good. Check with us in a couple weeks. We're going to have our official review on the new movie Things show. Uh, yeah. It'll be me and Steve again. Yeah, damn right. It'll be fun. Come have a, a little quest with us to Fun Town. But let's get down to brass tacks. We are looking at the World War Z game, and we've been playing it and mm -hmm. looking at it, and it's awesome. It's going to be available on uh, iPads, iPhones, mm -hmm. Android. You're going to be able to play this everywhere. You can yeah. play with your mother, your grandmother, your children. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You can play with all of them because it's really easy to play. So everything in this game happens right alongside the events in World War Z, the movie. Brad Pitt's doing his dreamy Brad Pitt thing over in the movie, and in the game, you're playing a character that is kind of just city hopping while the events in the movie are happening. So you're gonna hit up Paris, you're gonna hit up Kyoto, and you're gonna hit up the fall of Denver, Colorado. Yeah, you're kind of this dude that needs to save his son who's in Japan where similar craziness is going down. So you're journeying around and trying to find your son. It's craziness and it's action packed. What I really liked about the gameplay is uh, this kind of new system of, we don't need those dual stick craps going on, especially when you want more iPad screen real estate. I don't I mean, wanna have to hold it awkwardly like this. When yeah, we're let's doing, be like, honest here. We're stuff. playing with an iPad, so it, yeah. it needs to be touched screen intuitive mm -hmm. and, and this really is to mm -hmm. aim the gun all you do is put your cursor on where you want it, you're wanting to fire and the gun automatically mm -hmm. fires now all you hardcore gamers out there are like no 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 you're like Elijah Wood in Back to the Future you're like that's like a kid's game well guess what <laughs> cocky little gamer guy you can turn it on hard and you can do the controls for the analog play style if, if you, you want. want to but I like the idea that we're kind of starting from the ground up here like all of these iPad games these iPad shooters they all kind of try to mimic that whole dual stick thing and it's like I like that we're kind of just going from the ground up with a new design using the touch interface like mm -hmm. Joe was saying let's just try something new let's go into new directions yeah. and have some fun with the touch screen why not and one of the coolest things that I like about the okay thing, let okay. me put my finger up I'll first. put my finger up after like, you put yours up. there's a lot of like cutscene moments where mm -hmm. the story is going along or you're what you're listening to dialogue with pretty good uh, very clear uh, voiceover mm -hmm. actors doing their thing this is in Capcom style not so great <laughs> voice acting yeah. where are you Cynthia? No, this is pretty I'm good. over here no this is actually pretty decent. But while they're doing that while the characters are going where are you Cynthia I'm over here you can still interact with the environment and you can touch things that you want to pick up and you can find those exp packets it's really mm -hmm. cool so you're never just sitting there waiting it's always engaging, even if you've played the game before. Also, the reason why I was pointing my finger at uh -huh. you the first time, Joe, uh -huh. was because I get this really cool House of the Dead vibe yeah. from the game. And kind of like Area 51 and all those really cool like arcade shooter games where you're just kind of, it's what do they call them, a track, a track The rail style? shooters. The rail yeah, yeah. shooters, yeah, where you're kind of going from scene to scene. Yeah, it's cool. Really uh, like that. And then speaking of this, uh, the combat, you got guns, you got your melees, it's a classic zombie style fighting game. It's really cool. And getting your EXP during those cutscenes is worth it because that's how you're going to purchase your guns. You're going to start out with your handgun, going to get your assault rifle. Mm -hmm. You're gonna work up. I also like kind of the quick time event uh, melee attacks that you were doing. Like, uh, you definitely want to push those zombies away and dodge them as they come at you when you're using your melee weapons. So, we had to try it a couple of times, but it was really fun, like, having to push the zombie out of the way. You dodge and it just to the right made or the sense. Left. Yeah, you, uh, and then you push them by swiping with a swipe up. up. Yep. Yeah, and then when they came at you, you swipe down and BAM! You do a crowbar yeah. crack to the skull. Boom! You hear a satisfying little. Very satisfying. Turn it up, let your mom hear it. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Cracking skulls. What up, mom? No, not real skulls, mom. It's a game. God! Never listen, mom. <sighs> so this actually isn't a short game. There's 28 levels that spans three cities, which is really mm -hmm. awesome. And even if you thought that was short, there's a lot of replayability in the game. Mm -hmm. For your 499, you're gonna get story mode, and then after that, you're gonna get challenge mode, where you get to go back through the game, and they're like setting you up with like. American Gladiator Spartan type challenges. How many mm -hmm. skulls can you crack in a minute 30 and stuff like that. So the f it's worth $4.99 for the fact that you're gonna spend a lot of time in it not just once but twice, which yeah. is pretty sweet. I like that. It's like getting four tacos for the price of one. It's just like that. Also, this game releases May 30th and is going to be $4.99 across the board on iOS and Android, so you better get that and show your dad how cool the game is. And also, the movie comes out June 21st in theaters across America, so go see the movie, play the game, show your friends, play with your dad, get the high score, Source fed. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys next time. Yeah, let's go run around the Paramount lot like okay, little girls. Let's do it. Okay. Not that way, Josh. Oh, I'm coming.